Hey there, it's Lee from TemplateLauncher.com and today I am excited to be sharing our brand new five-star restaurant landing page template with you. Uh, this is a quick how-to video, how to use our Template Launcher control panel and then how to use the various uh, functionalities of the Lead Pages Builder. So as you can see this template, it's, we're really excited about it. It's got a lot of bold uh, images and call to actions and we think it's great not just for restaurants but just about anything. So lots of opportunities to uh, really make a statement with your uh, visitors to your site. So why don't I get started walking you through how um, our control panel works and the, the different pieces of functionality that we've included. We've got a drag and drop functionality so you can easily rearrange the um, order of everything on the page. You just simply drag and drop. You can rearrange everything on the page. So um, I'll, I'll move over to the Lead Pages Builder to show you this in more detail. We've also got the background library. We've got over 200 image, background images, textures, videos, and colors. Uh, you can easily swap out the backgrounds of each one of these sections and you can also turn on and off parallax scrolling for each section and even upload your own custom background images as well. Um, so I'll show you how to use that as well once I once I jump over into the lead pages builder and finally this is the how-to video uh, it's included here in the preview so you can check it out if you have any questions but also we've included it in the uh, builder as well so if you have any questions you can take a look at that first and hopefully uh, you know hopefully we answer everything that you need if not though we always we offer awesome support we're always here to answer any questions you may have um, we love any feedback you may give us as well so um, why don't I jump over to the builder and show you how everything works so now we're in the lead pages builder and uh, once again here is the template so the way the builder works is we've got over here on the left is the lead pages dashboard and from here you can hide and show different sections you can um, edit edit different sections different elements on the page and you can also you know add your uh, lead box integrations conversion goals all that stuff over here on the right this little cog this is our template launcher control panel and if you want to start using it all you do is click it and it pops open so um, First off, I'm going to walk you through the drag and drop. I showed you already, it's, there's not much beyond what I shared with you in the first part of the video, but um, you just click to open it, and then you just hover over the section that you wanted to rearrange. So um, you'll see that it also highlights the section when you hover over it. So if you're wondering what section you're on, uh, you'll see right there as well. So why don't we uh, why don't we test this? We'll we'll move the our uh, let's move our drink up to the second spot there. So we move it up and uh, there it kicks off the page. Actually, let's put it right under the welcome. There we go. So the other thing you'll notice too is that what you can do is some of these sections, when you hover over them, it says click to reorder. Some do not. Menu bar says click to reorder. The welcome does not. The our drink. So if you click to reorder, you click it, it opens, you can reorder the um, contents of that section and so then uh, the one all you all you have to do from here is make sure you save the page and it'll save that order for you so when your page loads uh, in production you'll see the new order that you had just saved so I'm just gonna call this um, five star one and we'll save this page save this order Okay, and once this loads up, I'm going to start walking you through the backgrounds. So we're going to pop open the control panel again, and we're going to click this background section. So the way this works is you select the section you want to change the background image on. So the welcome it defaults to this welcome section right here. Um, if you'd want to change the menu bar background or the art drink, you just select that section. But uh, why don't we show you what you can do with this section here. So the first setting you come across is parallax scrolling. And parallax, if you're not sure what that means, notice how when I scroll the image stays fixed in place. Okay? When I turn it off, the image scrolls with the page. So it's just a really cool effect to uh, add some interest and engagement for your users. And you know, I, I would recommend not using too many parallax 
sections because it does use some computing power. But um, I, you know, maybe three to four, you'd be okay. But if you do every section parallax, you're going to really slow down your page. So uh, let's turn that back on. And, I, and also, I think if you have too much parallax in your page, it kind of takes away the you know the novelty of it. It, it. it takes away some of the interest. So I would stick to just like high impact sections having those uh, background parallax on. The next setting you come to is the overlay opacity and see, let's move this so you can see what it happens. So as you can see, it's a layer that sits on top of the image and it's just an overlay. So when you have like a white font sitting on top of a bright background image, sometimes it gets lost. The overlay opacity gives you the opportunity to emphasize it. So you can easily change that as well. Um, one thing you'll notice with this is there's two sections here, the menu bar and then the welcome section, but yet they share the same background. Well, if I turn off the parallax scrolling on the menu bar, notice how it scrolls with the page, and you probably see it easier when I change it, change the image. Okay, so the way this works is if you have two sections next to each other, you can make it appear like they're in the same section by giving them the same background. So if I turn on the parallax scrolling and I turn back on the uh, original image we'd selected and this is our library by the way here we go notice how it looks like it's in one section it's really two separate sections so um, you can do you'll achieve the same look with a video or a texture or a color as well so just a cool little trick to, to note there um, we'll leave this image but as you can see there's a bunch of images in here oops I'm gonna switch that back there's our, there's our image. Let me just switch back to the welcome section, show you a video real quick. Simple as clicking on a video. There you go, you have a bear, and you, you also have the opportunity to have parallax scrolling with the video or not. So, why don't we go back to an image. Um, I mean, it's just fun to play around with this and try to find the right image. But we'll just go back to the original image. Okay, now, um, that's, that's about it for the background section. Really simple to use, uh, just lots of, a ton of functionality there that you can play with and really, uh, you know, mess with it, mess around with it, test it, see, see what converts, what doesn't, um, try different things, that's what it's all about. So finally, we have this template how-to, pops open the video, which I'm shooting right now and speaking in, so if you're listening to me, you've probably already found that, so here we go. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is I'm going to close this out and we're going to head over here. I'm going to show you how to add a custom background image. So let's go to this welcome section. And if you hover over the background, um, the way this works is our media library background image is one layer. Under that is a custom background layer. And in that custom background layer, you can add your own custom image. So if I hide this and then I click on image, you can either upload here or pick one of your existing images. So I'm going to pick that image and notice how it changed out. It's a little dark so it might be hard to see. What I can do is I can change the opacity on this so you can see see it a little better. You can also turn on and off parallax scrolling with custom images as well. So there we go. <clears throat> so really easy to not only use an image from our background library but also one of your own. We don't yet support uh, custom background videos there's just too many different video players for us to uh, account for right now. We might add it in the future, but right now we don't have it. Um, there's one more level of customization you can do with the background. If you hide this custom background, you can change the color. So you'll head over here to the style section, head to the welcome background, and you can just pick a custom color if you'd rather have that. And you can put any, any color you want in there. Um, and you can do, again, all of these, all this functionality I'm showing you, you can do it on any, uh, any section of the page. So just to show you a few more things, just in case you're not totally familiar with the builder, um, if you want to hide a section, just click that eyeball, it hides the section. Um, if you want it to appear again, turn it back on. And you can do that with elements within sections as well. If you want to hide column one, there you go. So you have tons of fun uh, functionality and flexibility with this template. So um, that's about it. If you have any questions, please head on over to templatelauncher.com 
and head to the Contact Us section. We have our personal emails there as well as a contact form, um, and we will be there 24-7 to answer questions. Uh, and what we, what we try to do is get back to you within 24 hours to make sure you can to keep uh, your project moving forward. So uh, thanks again so much for checking out our template, and have a great day. Bye-bye.